Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. This is part two in a two-part series talking about this backpack. This is the Masada backpack, which I've made a video on for part one that basically describes how it functions. So it is a backpack and then it's going to deploy. It's got uh, bulletproof panels in it. And so, you know, it gives you extra protection for if you're in the type of line of work, let's say, where you need to have some additional protection from uh, the danger of firearms, say you're in law, law enforcement, military, something like that. But then also, we live in a crazy world, so if you want extra protection in a backpack that you can wear, you know, to be uh, more careful against, say, active shooter scenario, this could be something um, that might be interesting to you. So, in the first video, I gave you all the rundown and the details. I've got a link down below in the description section, as well as at the end of this video to the first part. In this video, I'm out here in the woods in New Hampshire, and I'm actually gonna shoot at this thing to see how it holds up against uh, a couple different types of rounds. So I've got my Remington 870 out here. So we're gonna hit this with shot. We're also gonna hit this with a slug, and then we're gonna hit it with nine millimeter from my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P. So let me line this up, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna shoot at the back, and then we're also gonna shoot at the section that deploys out basically kind of your plate carrier section that goes over your chest. So we'll hit each of those separately, and then we'll take a look at them after each weapon is deployed or after each type of round is deployed to see the damage it does, to see if it holds up, etc. Now obviously there are tons of different calibers out there, and then within each caliber there's tons of different types of ammunition. Um, we're gonna hit this, like I said, with a shotgun sh uh, shot, with a slug, and then also with a nine millimeter. Um, that's what I've got uh, available to me right now as far as firearms. Um, it's not built to withstand an AR platform, so a 223 is, uh, is gonna be stronger than what this is actually built for, but let's give you a sense, you know, hitting it with some, uh, some of those other options to see how it holds up. So just a real quick recap from last video, this is what's gonna be on your chest when you deploy it, and then obviously this is the backpack, and we do have your ballistic panel in here, and then one in the backpack as well. All right, so first up, shooting at the front panel with a shotgun, this is Winchester Super X, 12 gauge, two and three quarter inches, 1325 for your velocity, one ounce, seven shot. So that's what we're gonna use first on the front panel. As far as slugs, we'll be using these from Federal Premium. It says True Ball System up on the top. And then our nine millimeter rounds are some rounds that were given to me from a buddy of mine who does his own reloading. Also, as far as your distance, I'm gonna be back at about 25 feet or so. Now, there's no perfect way to establish, you know, how close would somebody be? They could be really far away, they could be really close. So I'm gonna go about 25 feet. All right, let's talk about the front first. You can see where the shot has hit. We're gonna take out the panel in a second, but actually the first thing I really wanna focus on is this is the result of the slug. So it hasn't actually broken through, but that is a bad, bad day if you're wearing this. So this thing is not built to withstand, um, like I said, an AR platform and a slug, definitely not gonna be, not gonna be something you wanna plan on. This offering you protection from that either. All right, so I've taken the panel out. This is the front. Obviously, you can see where the shot has hit. It's important to know that on the back, there's none of those tiny little holes from the shot. So looking at it here, nothing from the actual shot of the shotgun shell has pierced through. Let me actually tear this guy open. So there's your slug. I basically, this is, you know, it's, I don't know if I've ever seen these before, but it's kind of a layered system. It's a little bit hard to see in the glare of the camera, but it's a layered system. I'll roll in a photo here so you can see it better. Um, but yeah, so, this broke through, this never actually punched through the layers completely, but there's the slug, obviously completely flattened out there. Um, and let's see if I can find anything else in here. You can see that right there, but that's a little bit of the shot that never went through as well. You can see that right there. That tiny little thing that's part of the nine millimeter. So again, that neither that went through neither. That didn't go through either, I should say. So yeah, once again, I mean, when you disassemble this thing, here's what the front looks like. There's what the back looks like. Definitely the slug. The slug actually didn't pierce and didn't come through. 
completely. Let me adjust the camera so you can see it and I'll actually be looking down at it. But once again, I'll tell you, nine millimeter didn't go through, shot didn't go through, slug actually didn't go through, just that it, you know, it really punched into it, like I said, about eight inches. Definitely got shredded, but actually there's another little piece of the nine millimeter right there. So yeah, definitely got beat up, but none of them actually went through completely. All right, here's a look at the back side of the backpack. Obviously you can see the shot has hit there. I will show you that nothing went through. So if this was on your back, nothing actually went through to, uh, you know, to pierce this, to go through the entire bag and to come out and hit you in the back. So we'll take out the panel now. As I noted in the first video, so this is where you're getting hit with the, this part of the test. But the actual panel is back here. It's kind of where you'd like to put a hydration bladder. It's in this final section right up against your back. So here's what that panel looks like. So this is what would be up against your back. You can see nothing is punched through there. Again, on this side you can see there's some shot. There's one nine millimeter and there's the other nine millimeter. Larger hole there, larger hole there. Now, unfortunately, um, I had a malfunction with my shotgun and I couldn't clear the, uh, the one of the rounds I shot at the other side of the, um, the pack, that front panel. So I couldn't get that out and so I couldn't shoot a slug. I'm sure the slug would have done the same thing here. Um, probably, maybe, well, probably maybe a little bit less damage because it's got to go through a couple different layers of the backpack before it hits. But again, I'm not, this is not a recommendation for wearing this uh, in relation to protection from a slug. Just don't do that, that's not what it's for. But you can see here, you know, we got the larger, a uh, little bit of shot, and then some of the larger holes from the nine millimeter. So let's tear this open and actually look at the panel inside now. Okay, once again, here's the side that would be resting against your back. You can see nothing is punched through there. You know, not the slightest amount of shot or anything. Here's the other side. You can see where it's absorbed. I mean, you can see how it's dented in there. And then you can see where the nine millimeter sit. So let me kind of peel this apart by layers. So if I take about half the layers off, you can see right there, it's dented, but nothing has come through. So you got half here and half here. So actually going in through the backpack with the nine millimeter and the shot, um, yeah, again, no one wants to get shot, period. But uh, definitely definitely protects even halfway through the, uh, the material that builds the uh, panel. There's your nine millimeter, nice and flattened out. And there's some shot right there. All right, let's talk about conclusions here. I mean, you've seen the evidence. Slug, definitely don't count on this protecting you from a slug, um, but nine millimeter and shot, it will. Again, something like a 223, um, it's not built to protect you against that as well. But I'll put a link here uh, in the description section down below, actually, so you can see all the different um, calibers that it will protect against. So there are a lot of different, a uh, lot of different handguns in particular that it's gonna protect against, as well as obviously um, shot from a shotgun shell, or sh sh shot from a shotgun. So yeah, I mean, this thing, it's kind of interesting as far as like the science experiment of, all, of it all to take it apart, look at the different layers, see how far different things go through. I've got the slug here again, and then your nine millimeter here, all flattened out. So does the job like it says it should. Um, I've been pretty impressed. Um, I am by no means, you know, any firearms expert or anything like that, but the proof is in the pudding, I feel like when it comes to this. And uh, it does, in the test I put it up to, it does what, it's, it does what it says it's supposed to do. So um, if you've got questions, I've got links to the, the other video that I made and to the different calibers and also to the ZFI website so you can check out the, um, the Masada backpack that they've made. That's this, obviously. And uh, you know, if this is something you want to dig into a little bit more, you can reach out, out to them. I've got their contact info there. So let's hear your thoughts and your feedback on this, uh, on this video. You know, uh, what jumped out to you? What's interesting? What changes would you made? Additional tests you'd like to see? Yes, I'd like to have a um, AR with the 223 tested up against this. I just don't have access to that right now. But um, yeah, let's hear your thoughts and your feedback. Let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.